please don't ask me for a picture. I was on a bus, I had someone ask me for a picture and this is gonna be the last video that I make and I'm gonna make this video specifically just to post that I don't wanna be asked for pictures. I'm not a celebrity, I'm not famous and I don't owe anybody anything. If that makes me a bad guy, I'm okay with that, but please don't ask me for any pictures. There's gonna be a video that I'm gonna play after this that explains everything on why I don't take pictures and why I don't wanna take pictures. It is what it is. Please don't ask me for a picture. I have a video about this, but I have to say this. Again, I don't take pictures like at all. I don't think I was expressing myself properly, so I'm gonna try to say it again. I don't take selfies. Me not taking pictures has everything to do with me. I know it comes off rude. I don't even see myself as a celebrity. At this point in my life, I don't even wanna be a celebrity. I really just wanna make money. But as far as in me not taking pictures, it's just a low self-esteem thing. I have high insecurities. It has nothing to do with anyone that asked me for a picture. A little kid could ask me for a picture. I'm sadly gonna decline, you know? I know that comes off real rude. I don't know how to say this, but I. I appreciate anyone that supports me at the same time like if you can find more than 10 selfies of me let me know i delete all selfies of me on the internet there's not too many pictures of me on the internet and it's, it has a lot to do with me personally it's just my own insecurities it has nothing to do with anyone else i just want to apologize if i come off as rude it has more to do with me than anyone else i just have insecurities i don't even like making videos honestly but I don't wanna to get too deep into that. But if you ever see me in Rhode Island or by chance you see me somewhere else, I have no problem with having a conversation with anybody if you wanna to talk to me. If you wanna do a video, I don't have a problem with a video, but personally, I just don't like pictures. I, I don't take selfies. So if, I'm, if I don't take selfies, why would I take pictures with anyone else? On a business level, it would obviously not make sense to not take pictures if I was an actor, if I was a music artist that has some kind of contract with a label, any kind of situation situation like that, I would be obligated and forced to take pictures, do interviews, all of the type of things that people have to do when they're in those kind of positions. But I am not in that position. And honestly, I really gave up on trying to get in the industry. I don't know what the future holds for me, but if I was in that kind of position, then yeah, would I take pictures? I would have to take pictures. But if you look at any, any picture that you ever see in me, you're probably not going to see me smiling, bro. But again, I don't want to make this too deep of a situation. I just seen the way how bro was looking at me and I was just like it felt like the the first time someone asked me for a picture and some people get angry they get offended and they think I don't know but it's not about you it's about me so I'm sitting here thinking about this as I'm waiting for the bus I'm still at the casino people are recognizing me one thing that I know they don't know that I'm the guy from subway they don't know that I'm the guy from CVS they don't know I'm the guy that said rest in peace pop smoke they know me from TikTok right now because my videos are going viral on TikTok TikTok. So I did go on a little rant and I want to apologize and I want to also say I'm not proud of anything that I've done. I was expressing my emotions because, you know, this is really my life, but I got to take responsibility. These are the choices I've made. At the same time, people get so angry and frustrated on the internet and the things that people have said to me and about me. It's kind of crazy when you see me in public and there's a chance that you might not even recognize me. If you don't recognize me, but you probably seen some of my viral videos, do you feel different about me now that you you know that the guy that you've been watching at the casino is also the guy that has viral videos from the past. The reason why my videos are going viral on TikTok is because I'm overdrafting my bank account. As you could probably see right there, and people are laughing at me. So I'm still going viral in a negative way. Look at my living condition, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm a 30 year old man, I don't have my life together. People ask, how do I get so many jobs after everything that I did at previous jobs? That's really based on probability. I'm not doing anything too special, but what I will say is people do not care as much as they pretend to care on the internet. And people's minds change all the time. And not to get too deep into why I decided to make controversial videos, I knew that over time, people's minds could change and I was gambling on that. Even if your opinion still doesn't change let's say someone hates me just as much as they hated me the first time they seen my viral videos in most cases 
when people see me, they either shake their head and keep it moving, or they might even laugh at me and don't say nothing to me, which is what I prefer. I don't want any confrontation with anyone. I knew that if I was famous, then I would probably be in a position where I could monetize myself. And if I didn't become famous, then I could probably just blend back into society. There really wasn't too much middle ground, only probably locally where that would be difficult. It was a lot of gambling, a lot of bad choices. Trust me, I have a a lot of regrets in my life. I'm not happy with any of it, but overall people really just don't care. And I know that the content that I was creating that was making me infamous wasn't who I am as a person. So people would have to accept the reality that I was really just clout chasing, but I don't even want to talk about that. The point that I was making is people are recognizing me for what I'm doing that's relevant now, but they don't recognize me for the things that I did in the past. And everyone kind of makes it seem like they hate me or I ruined my life or something like that but most people don't seem to recognize me and that's it that's kind of an issue for me personally because when the conversation comes back up and people re-recognize me in a lot of cases there's going to be people that's going to kind of flip-flop and be like you know what i don't know how i feel about him anymore so even if i do take your picture if you realize that i'm the guy that did this video how do you feel about that picture now that's kind of what i'm ranting about right now i know everything i do is weird to a lot of people but by the way the person that asked me for a picture on the bus didn't even know my name, and he didn't know I had any YouTube channels when I got like 10 of them. So yeah, I don't wanna talk about this for the rest of my life. I made choices, I gotta deal with it. It comes with the territory, but I'm not taking any pictures.